welcome to Karen Davies Kitchen. <laughs> so it's a like. different place, it's great. It's, it's really it. nice that you've come here, it's great. Because all these cakes, I could not possibly bring them all to you anyway. So. I know. It's well, we're strange. live in Karen Davies' kitchen, and we always keep saying we're going to come down here. So we've had a day out, and Karen treated us for tea, mm -hmm. and we've got Laura and Maria in the kitchen, and we did a little live before to show you a little wonderland in the other room, and then uh, it all got a bit confusing because we thought we were going to go back in there, and I said, no, we all need to be back in here. So that's why we're running slightly late. <laughs> So they, we had a fantastic viewing audience before, so thank you for joining us. So I just why you all build up again. So where are yeah. we, Karen? Where are we? In Liverpool, aren't we? Near Liverpool, oh, we? The, other, the other side of the river. See, I don't know where I was, I just followed the sat-nav. <laughs> you used to say it's the posh side, but it's not. It's not at all the posh side. I think Liverpool's better. But, well, uh, Karen's yeah. moved to a brand new unit, and I have to say we're jealous. It is beautiful. <laughs> she's got a showroom, she's got nice offices, she's got a display mm. area. So, John McFarland, if you are oh. watching, <laughs> me, Maria, and Laura and I want this. <laughs> So we've got a great demo for you tonight. So just tell you a few things what's going on and then I'm going to get out of the way and let Karen get on with what she does best. So Karen and I are going to be at Cake and Bake this weekend, we are. aren't we? Cake's so come around very quick. If you see it? Karen's warehouse out there and our warehouse, we are <laughs> racked to the rafters. They are too with all the things that we've got to load up for the vans. So we're this, you're setting off Wednesday night. We are, yes. We're yeah. setting off Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. So we're setting off a Cake and Bake London XL. So we're going to be there. We're setting up Thursday. We're doing the show for three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I am doing a live on Friday at 10 o'clock where it's not a demo. I'm going to do a tour of the show. And we'll be coming mm -hmm. past you. You better have. Don't yeah. miss us out. Well, don't you ignore us. When <laughs> no. I shout, Karen, don't forget yeah. sales. Just push the customers away. Absolutely. Carol's push them here. away. <laughs> Let Carol in. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. So we're going to do the opening ceremony for you and then we're going to go and have a little walk up and down the aisles. We're going to go and say hello to Steve at Vanilla Valley. We're going to say hello to Karen. We're going to go and say hello to Amy at Sweet Stamps. We're going to drop by Cake Decoration and Sugarcraft magazine, tell you all what's going on there. And I might actually get a copy of the magazine. I still haven't got one yet. And I've got two page spread. Oh, oh no. I haven't even seen my own article. Oh, I've got it here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why didn't you tell us I could have had it over the lemon cake? <laughs> I've been waiting oh, for it to come in the post. Oh, no. So, um, cake decoration and sugar craft magazine. If you do, you want to go and get it in a minute while I tell them. Sorry. Okay, and then, if you want to sign up for that, there's two ways you can sign up. You can go over to our website, pop into shop, drop down to cake decoration and sugar craft magazine, sign up for the next five editions for five pound after that it's a monthly subscription is that this month yes the one i'm in I <laughs> <see it. laughs> i've seen it i know i have oh you can't miss it it's two pages I know, I know. it's two pages I should, I should have looked at the front shouldn't i for yeah. what page it was on well i think this might be the older edition oh no it's in this one it must say yeah, it's yeah. somewhere well, while Karen yeah. finds that then, oh, come on over here, Karen. So while Karen finds that then, so we're going to go over to Cake Decoration magazine. So for you people at the show, go and sign up at the show. If you're not going to be at the show, you can sign up on our website. And like I say, it's not back copies, which I did give you the wrong information a few weeks ago. It's the forward copy. So it's a fantastic deal for five pounds. And look at that. Two pages. <laughs> this is what I think is amazing. So what does this say? Top tips from Karen McFarlane. <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> so you have to read what I know in here. Uh, we're going to be in the October issue, the November issue, and the December issue. And if you're very good and you sign up, we might get in January, February, and March. So make sure you sign up and behave yourselves. So lots of information in there. There's a I put a prize in there as well that you can win. Um, I've got an offer on on global sugar art products. And the discount as well. Oh, yeah, there's a discount as well. What's the discount for? Discount codes for sugars and nozzles. Ah, yes. Yeah. See, if you buy the magazine, there's a discount code for the sugar and nozzles as well. Mm -hmm. There you go. Lots of things to give away. Recipes in there. And look at that. Don't think I had a cute picture of me there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice, oh, that, isn't lovely. it? Yes. Yeah, you've got to say lovely. that. Yeah. No, it is. <laughs> that's very nice. 
A Danielle Critch took that one from the cussing Aww. cakey, yeah? So really, really very pleased. So anyhow, I'll stop talking about myself now. Let's get back to talk about Karen. So um, we're going to get on with this fabulous live. And after this live, oh, we're going to show you each of the products clearly as well so that you understand what they are. They're beautiful silicone modes. They're for cookies and sugar paste. And Karen has just got loads and loads of things to show you. It's going to be a fantastic demonstration. Make sure you get those thumbs hearts going, love hearts going. But before I go, I'm going to get Laura to do the spiel. The spiel with no script. <laughs> so, hello, Maria. Oh, oh yeah. Hi, Maria. Hi. <laughs> um, so, good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us as usual. Um, we're here in Karen Davies' um, sugar craft unit. So, a little bit of a change from the sugar and crumbs kitchen. Um, but as always, uh, we're here for normally about two hours. So if you're new to joining us, say hi, introduce yourself. If you've got any comments or questions that are relevant to tonight's live, don't hesitate to post them in the feed. Um, the only thing is the feed moves very, very quickly. So if we do miss your query or your question, we will try and get back to you tomorrow or catch up later in the week. Um, if you can't stay with us for the whole live or if you miss any of the bits, and you can always catch up when we're finished. So the whole video gets pinned to the top of the Facebook page and it also gets transferred over to YouTube as well later on in the week. Um, you also see Maria hanging around, dodging the cameras and everything. Um, Maria and she's filmed... got to be really ever shy. Yeah. <laughs> she's lost the selfie stick. Yeah. <laughs> um, Maria films fantastic footage for the one minute videos that also get uploaded to YouTube as well. So it's all the really important bits squished into a minute um, and they really are fantastic to recap on. Um, if you're interested in purchasing any of the moulds or the sugar paste that Karen uses this evening, it's all available on the Sugar and Crumbs website. So head over when we're finished to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk um, and like we said before, we will go through all the moulds in detail with you and all the details will be popped on the screen as we go through them. Um, I think that's everything. And do we have a good audience group? We have a fantastic audience. We are live on YouTube as well. So Facebook and YouTube, hi to everyone that's tuning in on there. Um, so what are we called? Hello Facebookers uh, and hello YouTubers. Yeah, I think we'll just stick to that for now, it's easier. So hello everyone. Yeah. Bookers and tubers. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like yeah. having a laugh, go away. Yeah. <laughs> this is it, it's a, it's a friendly, fun, free tutorial. Um, everyone's here to enjoy it and that's the main aim of our Facebook lives. Um, so, Everything here, like I said before, is available to purchase on Sugar and Crumbs. Um, but everything that Karen shows you, as always, is completely achievable. There's nothing that's, you know, oh my God, I can't do that. Everything is achievable. And the, the fantastic thing with these moulds is they really are amazing to use. They're worth the quality. Everyone who's purchased performance previously is fantastic. Can she come and work for me? <laughs> oh no, she does it. She gets all the words out, doesn't she? Hey, get up. sugarandcrumbs.co.uk if you go into cake and bake you can go and meet karen and buy off her stand she'll be there do you know what stand you're on i think it's f60 oh right okay we're right a bit together. further than us we're on f40 and e20 yes we've got two stands we're taking chocolate drip having said that we're a bit nervous <laughs> color mill and Fay cahill as well it's sat in customs at the moment and we were told tonight we might not get it <laughs> unless an australian sort a problem out so but hopefully it's all going to get sorted and then instead of it arriving tomorrow hopefully it will arrive wednesday otherwise then we're going to have one full stand and one empty one yeah, I'll just do hello to Plenty you. Plenty of space yeah. anyway. Okay. So. <laughs> and like I say, I just want to repeat, we're doing a live at 10 o'clock on Friday morning at Cake and Bake, where we're going to do a full tour of the show. So if you want to see the show, see who's there, what's going on, make sure you watch us at 10 a.m. And then when the show closes, we're going to join Amy at Amy Sweet Stamps, and she is going to do a live demonstration there for about 45 minutes using the Sugar and Crumbs exclusive Sweet Stamp Steps which you will want to buy, and you can buy them at the show as well, off our stand, which is brilliant. So that's enough plug-in for everybody else. Let's you get yeah. on your okay. thing, and I'll go and read all about myself in my magazine. <laughs> <laughs> What's she like? <laughs> oh, dear. Right, first of all, I'll just show you our new range of moulds. Okay. Oh, because I think there might be some confusion. People think that they're just for cookies. So I just need to take these out of the bags. I've got to get myself ready. Can't wait. Okay, doesn't want to come out. One more. And then I'll lift them each 
switch one to the camera to tell you what they are. Okay. Oh. Right, first of all, I want to start with Christmas. Let's start with the others. Okay, so now, now is this in the right position for people to see? Yeah, but I'll make sure. <laughs> this way a little bit. That way. And okay. a little bit more if you can. Yeah, perfect. Right about there. Thank right, you. So I'll try and remember that now for each one. <laughs> Don't move. Um, okay, <laughs> this is the wedding cookie mould. Okay, we wanted, when we launched the cookie craft range, we wanted to have a couple of occasions, not just Christmas, you know, because Christmas will come and go very quickly, as yeah. it always does. But, you know, we love doing Christmas um, cakes and cookies. So this one is great for weddings, obviously. Um, engagements, anniversaries, you know, all that usual sort of stuff. Um, and like I say, you can use it for cookie dough or for cakes. Definitely I love cakes. that mold. And then we've got here the baby mold. Okay, you've got there your rattle, a little sleep suit, a baby grow, teddy bear, a bottle, and a banner or bunting across the top. And it is the letters are the right way around when it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other day, we got an email of somebody saying it's the wrong way around on your video. Was it? But I think they'd mirror Backwards. imaged yes. it or something yeah. at some point, and, and my heart just stopped oh, no. for a, a minute. Oh, yeah. was, you know, you, you've seen it a thousand times, but yeah. you just still believe that you've done it wrong. It's okay. Gosh. So then we'll go to the Christmas. Now, last year, one of the cakes I had was at the at the shows everybody wanted went down a storm didn't it? Yeah, yeah i think i did them on your, yeah, on your you facebook lives doing the mitten um i'll turn that around because they're not all in the same direction i'll keep moving it um so we'd managed to get mitten cutters and sweater cutters hat cutters but they're very quite tricky to just mm. get plain so we decided this year we'd do the mold for it and as you'll see later, as I use each mould, I'll bring in examples, you know, what you can do with the cookies and the cakes to show you. So Karen, you've got to shout up a little bit louder. Ooh, louder. Right, okay. okay. Yeah. Right. Um, now this is the Christmas cookie mould. Okay. And there you've got your Santa, your reindeer and your snowman. And they're great for children, for little treats to hang on the tree, put a lollipop stick in or you know just do cookies yeah. with them and yeah. some of these you, know, you don't even have to paint them you can leave them plain yeah you know and you've also got some examples to show them a lot of oh, we've got lots. Us, have you? yes <laughs> we've got lots lots of examples made there's our gingerbread little gingerbread figures love them all okay now i didn't do the, this a lot of gingerbread men have like the white piping on the mm. edges and everything i thought i'd rather put them in clothes dress them in little cute clothes and you've got some you know your two bigger ones here but you've also got a boy and a girl there a small one and a very tiny one and these they're great for putting on to like um piped buttercream cupcakes you know things like that yeah. there's loads of different ways to use them and um, little piece of holly and then this heart cookie is really nice as well use that for lots Gorgeous. of different things absolutely okay. felt so first thing i want to do is make some cookies okay so i'm going to make the dough first the cookie dough so i'll just get out everything i need here somewhere i've put my scales oh, oh here ah the oh sorry yeah thank you. thank you we'll show you how big the cookies are in relation in a minute so don't worry you're going to learn everything tonight and yeah. um, one of two but only one of you has said that it's freezing and i just learned something last week I found that if you keep pressing the love hearts and emojis, emojis loads of times, it actually freezes your page. It's done it on my iPad and on my phone. So maybe just do one at a time, just nice and slow. But when you go a bit bonkers, keep pressing them. It does, it has froze me out as well, but it's not actually the live. Now with all the cookie craft molds, you get a recipe. And that John McFarlane's just been on oh, yes. and said, yes. just private message Laura, because he's not brave enough to message me. Oh, you're going to get me in trouble now. <laughs> that display area is not happening. Well, well there's a laughing face. There's no yeah. chance. Oh. Well, he's got four women after him. He's got Karen, Maria, me oh, and Laura. Oh, he doesn't stand a chance. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right, with all the cookie craft moulds, you get this recipe for cookies, okay? And the gingerbread 
uh, gingerbread recipe is also in with the gingerbread men as well oh, as this. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. I, I didn't realise it was two different recipes. Yeah, well, it's the same, really, but yeah. you, you just change. This basic recipe, you can do so much with it. Um, I mean, gingerbread, normally, you put in, say, um, two tablespoons of... Cinnamon. No, sorry. <laughs> My brain's gone. The syrup, golden syrup. <laughs> and then one tablespoon of treacle. But I, if I want the cookies to look lighter, I put three tablespoons of syrup in. Right. You know, so you can yeah. change it yeah. from on the recipe. It might say brown sugar. You can put white sugar. Yeah. So you can really change the shades. And of course, also with flavoured icing sugars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't even have to use the ginger no. that it tells you to put in for the gingerbread yeah. and the cinnamon, whatever. You can use, you know, Bonner Carol's flavours. And I've got some dough in the fridge. I forgot to bring through some that I made this morning using the apple, where was it, this Toffee one? Apple. Toffee apple. Yeah. Oh, you were saying before, it smells great, oh, doesn't yeah. it? And I wish you could smell it through the <laughs> That is, I couldn't believe that the smell. So I'm, I'm waiting to see what that's like when it's baked. Can't wait. Okay, so, oh, in here, I'll need the icing sugar one time, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Yes, switch the scales on. So I just want to show you how easy this one is to make. This, Coming on, wrong button. Okay, so I'm putting 75 grams of icing sugar and far too much. It's so soft, yeah. <laughs> it flows out of the bag so easily. <laughs> I can taste it now. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, our lads who work in production, their, their wives oh. must go home. Instead of having a, yeah. a greasy mechanic <laughs> really, going exactly. home, yeah. they just don't go home. You're and done they, today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm salted caramel flavour today. <laughs> Give us is, a lick. <laughs> what flavour was I going to ask you about? Was it Santa's Snowball? What flavour is that? Ginger one? and oh. white oh. chocolate. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. I'll just need yeah. some water, sorry. Oh, lovely. So, just put one tablespoon of water into there. And then I want three tablespoons of syrup. This is the messy bit, isn't it? And um, Donna Ryan's asking, is the recipe converted for the US? Um, in the mold? Not in cup sizes. Is that no. what she's asking? Always confuses for? me those cup yeah. sizes. Yeah. I can't work it out. No. Yeah, there are conversion charts. Yeah, yes, I don't get them either. I, just... <laughs> um, I think actually. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. I'm sure one of our community members posted a really good oh. conversion over the weekend. Ooh. Get yourself a set of scales, Donna, and go back to the <laughs> <go back. laughs> scales. Your life is going to change yes. for the better. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did a recipe at the weekend that um, somebody had sent me. It was a, oh, I can't remember where she was from, this lady, but um, she lived in Ireland anyway. And, it's a B and B Barry stayed at, so she's he was raving about the yeah, things she used to bake, you know, and uh, that came in cup sizes, but it's like one and three quarters. Oh, and that's that's crazy. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. But you can soon like I say, convert them online. Yeah. That's the easiest way. Okay, so can you talk amongst yourselves while I Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yes, we can. Of course okay. we can. I'll mate. just get a wooden spoon as well. So I, for those people who didn't see the live, I'm just going to show a couple of cakes. Oh yeah, let's talk about the cakes. So okay. I'm just going to show you one cake. I'm just going to show you one cake for a minute, just while Karen goes out to the fridge. But I just want to show you this. I love them all. They're all fabulous. <laughs> but look at this. So uh, this has been made by Christina Ludlam, who is a fantastic cake decorating artist. And I've been on many of her classes. And if you've, ever you can get on one, just seriously, go onto Facebook, Christina Ludlam, uh, Cakey Bakey Art School, Sugarcraft uh, School, and she is amazing. And that's where I met the wonderful Karen Griffiths, who now works for us, her mum, Iris Shutterworth. And we have another friend that we made friends there called Joe Slatley, uh, or Flatley, can never get it right. But anyhow, it's one of them. So uh, great. But uh, she's made this, she's used the sweet stamps here, so I don't know whether you can see, can you see that it says cookies yeah, along there, absolutely. which is just nice. And then I'm going to go to this camera here, so you can get a little bit of better look. Yes. You know, this is, so the mould that Karen's talking about now that she's going to show you, with the cookies in, it's got all the uh, little baby gingerbreads, the love heart, and look, I love this, look, they've even done teeth cut out of it, so <laughs> it looks as though somebody's had a little nibble. What do we think of Gorgeous. this? Absolutely stunning. 
Yeah. And there's so many ideas as well that you know you can you can use with the moulds. Um, so someone's already asked stupid questions. So just, I'm moving. Is she back? No <laughs> stupid questions ever. You can <laughs> use the moulds for fondant. Yes, and Karen <laughs> will be showing you. Yes, it's just that a came, mold. There is fondant. <laughs> That's all fondant. That isn't yeah. it, Karen. Well, sorry, this one's all yes. fondant, isn't yeah. it? That's yeah. not the yeah. right. That's all the not yes. All the cakes are. Okay, so just what have you done mixing there? Mixing in, just, just heated it in the microwave. Yeah. I'm just dissolving the sugar. I should have left it for a bit longer, I think. But now I'm going to put the butter in. And these are smooth. Be okay. So now we want. 95 grams of butter. So I'll just add it in in slices so it will melt quicker. Did I zero the scales? No, I don't think I did. did I? <laughs> oh, Silly me! Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, it's the other one, I think. No, I'm wrong, I'm tired. It's because I'm doing it sideways, I don't know why. Let's turn it round a minute. Mad right grams. Yes, zero, sorry. Right, start again. <laughs> Lad it in in oh, it's still gone to more. What's up with it? I hope my battery isn't going. It <laughs> would be very bad yeah. timing yeah. if it was. <laughs> this, is what happens when, this is what happens when we go live. Yeah. Oh, the scales have stopped working. Yeah. Anyhow, get that one out of the fridge. Just tell them about it. <laughs> So we've got a fantastic audience, over Aww. 450 people watching. Oh, I, I haven't just put them off. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just saying to Laura, the way I'm looking on my phone, now yeah. they've changed it on the phone that I can't see the viewers. Uh, so I think you have to... Strange. I've tried it landscape, yeah. it won't let me see how many people are watching. That's strange. Yeah. We've definitely and got I, viewers, that's yeah. the most important. And if I, if I turn it on my, on my um, iPhone, yeah, then if I turn gone. it... Yeah. If I turn it landscape, everything's awesome. gone. Facebook yeah, are always yeah. messing around oh, with stuff, aren't they? You just get they? used to it and then there's an update, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, a few more. This goes on forever at the end, doesn't <laughs> it, when you're trying to get it exact. No, it suddenly go too much. Oh, three grams to go. I'm not one of these people that says, oh, that'll do. That'll do. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Just guess. Yeah. 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 Right. They won't be bothered. They've got their own scales at home. Yeah. So I'm just going to melt the butter in. Just break it up a bit further. A good mix. But you can do this, instead of doing it in the microwave, you can put it in a pan. Yeah. I usually at home just do it in a pan. Because at home my microwave isn't in the kitchen. Either. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not? Why not? No. no. It's well, our house. Our old kitchen was small, quite small, and the house is about 60 years old. So when it was built, it had a larder, you know, a proper yeah, pantry. Put it in there. So now, you see, that kitchen isn't our kitchen anymore because we extended on the side. So the microwave is still, where still it was. there, <laughs> out of the way. It just <laughs> hides it off the worktops. You do you know? get into a habit, though, sometimes where things are, don't you? Yeah. So we've got a fantastic audience, well over 460 now. Wow. Nearly there. And don't worry about Karen in this mixture, she'll get it sorted. Yeah, I should have left it a bit longer, I sort of rushed it. Right, I'm going to put the flour in now. So this time I'll zero it properly. Yes, if you do want to make a larger quantity of double of, um, cookie dough, just double the recipe. Um, it will be fine, but believe me, with this recipe, because we use this recipe ourselves, it will go a long way, this recipe. Watch, Darren, how much, Karen. Well, you're not going to make loads of moles out of it, are you? But it makes loads. No. I mean, they'll see the quantity. And when I use the yeah. one that I made this morning, um, you'll see how much there is. So I'm going up to 250 with the flour. So, Pat, you're absolutely right. You can't see comments on the iPad. Don't know why. I've been watching on the iPad and you can't see comments anymore, which is really strange. strange. Yeah, I've had to come and watch the Facebook Live via my personal page oh, right. because I was watching through the actual page. Yeah, yeah. it wouldn't show me how many people yeah. was watching, so I've had to come now and watch through Karen McFarlane. Mm. Okay, so you just mix the flour in. That's it. it smells lovely. 
does. Mm. It does smell amazing. Mm. The toffee apple is delicious. I can't wait to bake. Mm. <laughs> well, to be fair, and the other thing with the bags of icing sugar, mm. if you've got any lolly sticks or licorice or anything like that, just open a yeah. bag, dip it in and lick it. <laughs> oh. So fine. <laughs> Seriously, it's really very nice. You don't oh, need to go to the gosh. trouble of making any cakes. Yeah. Just get your licorice oh, stick, gosh. stick it in, or get yeah. a sticky lolly, mm. stick that in, and away oh, you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> and if you don't have it, you can use a spoon. No! <laughs> and if you don't have a spoon, use your finger. Nobody will know. Don't nice tell them. Like don't don't, don't see when you've got no teeth left. <laughs> <laughs> just get the polythene bag out of here. Yeah, if you turn into portrait mode, you can see the comments, but you can't see them if you have it on landscape. So the, the cookie dough now is ready. You don't have to knead it or anything. That's just ready now to go into a polythene bag or to be wrapped in cling film to put in the fridge. And it's very important to put it in the fridge because while it's warm, it's very soft anyway. And you don't want the cookies to spread. So if you're not using this recipe, if you're using another recipe, you know, be be sure that it's not going to spread because then obviously you lose all the detail. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So pop that in the sink out of the way. Uh, you've used and plain then, flour, haven't you? Yes, plain. Yeah, plain definitely flour. plain. And what you need to do now, if you want them to cool quick, just press it flat in the bag. Yeah, brilliant. And it'll right. go cool a lot quicker. Fantastic. I'm just going to stop the comments now about the iPad. If you keep your <laughs> iPad in portrait mode, you can see the comments. <laughs> if you have the landscape code, you won't see the comments. So can we move on? Right. <laughs> That's what we can do. <laughs> We're fast forwarding now to five, yes. five or ten minutes. Yeah. It, would, it would take longer than that, obviously. I, I, um, this has been in since this morning, so it came out of the fridge absolutely solid. But, um, you know, as long as it's really cold and firm it'll be fine a lot of the gingerbread recipes have got um bicarb of soda mm. in stuff but i think yeah. when i did try it that way as well and it um it makes the dough seem harder as well to use mm -hmm. and you know the, they're going to spread as well when they're baked so now corn flour bag you do everything exactly the same really as you do if you're using sugar paste well, when I say sugar paste, <laughs> we mean yours. Yeah, we mean ours, <laughs> yes. or one you've added Tylo to, CMC2, to firm yeah, it up. Yeah, don't use just roll out no. sugar paste. So there we go. Put the corn flour in, just tap it out so it's not too much, and then take your cookie dough. What are you laughing at there? No, it's because I'm really <laughs> Oh, right, you keep shoving her out the way. Yeah. I tell you, you know what? We should have a behind the scenes sorry. live. I, I do feel sorry for our guests. You, you oh. see it all going on, don't you? When, when you demo in front and there's me, Laura, Maria, mm. making all strange faces, <laughs> cameras over, eating, <laughs> yawning, whatever. Oh. <laughs> right, that dough, I've, I haven't really even kneaded it. I've just made it flatter and smooth. You don't want to just put a ball in and press it. Put, put a flattened piece of um, cookie dough. I always go to say paste because I'm so used to the same paste. And then just press it in. It even feels really nice, this. It's nice and smooth mm. to use. And if it does sort of crack and stretch anywhere, when you press hard, it just pushes it back together and smooths it in. So there shouldn't be any cracks in the dough when it comes out of the mold. And that was a very, very lucky guess. <laughs> You know, even though I've done these thousands of times, I still put the wrong amount in. So say I have, say I've got too much in, just push like to one corner and just take it off with your thumb like that. Okay. So she's ready to come out, isn't she? So if I just turn her over and just, oh, she's out there, wiggle the mould. There she is. <laughs> there she is. Yeah. Somewhere I've got some of the art baking tray. So Darren is saying that when he makes his dough, he finds it cr crumbly. What's he doing wrong? Because I don't ever get it crumbly. Mm. Is it this recipe or a different recipe? Yeah, which recipe, Darren? Because I make it. I don't. I don't use the um, syrup if I'm honest. I make it without the syrup, but I yeah. don't have anything crumbly. Yeah, there's a there's another one. Sugar, the one we just call sugar cookie recipe. That one is a, a more a drier mixture. Yeah. So maybe you might find this one easier. We've, adopt, we've adapted your other recipe 
for mm-hmm. using with our ice and sugars, and we use that all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I use that, that in class, dry, yeah. everything, yeah. yeah it is a but that's, dry, isn't, yeah. but we never have any problems no. with crumbs with oh, it. Oh, good, good. Right, I'm going to do this one, the little boy now, but put a little stick in him, a little lollipop stick. So, I'm just getting that smooth. Press in. Well, it's four short of 500. Oh, Ooh, just hit no. 500. Oh. Well done. Oh. Now then, that one feels a little bit shallow up the top, so I can just add a little bit extra. Do you sell lollipop sticks, like cake pop sticks or anything? We've got a freaking load of sticks that we could actually give away. If anybody wants sticks, <laughs> oh, just don't tell say us. that, Carol. If they buy, if they buy this mould, they can oh. have 100 sticks for oh. free. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What colour would you like? Red, black, blue, mm. green, yellow? Now on these, they these... are plastic. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, no, well, plastic's... It's not going to work, is it? Cause the they oven. say, I mean, with these, I think it says on the back... Oh, yeah, you can't put them in. They're going to go in the oven, aren't they? Oh, yeah, what a dick I am. On these, it says don't yeah, put yeah. them in the oven. Sorry. But, <laughs> Sorry. but I do. Oh, you do on them you ones? On yes, I do, because um, the temperature is quite low anyway. It's yes. not, you know, yeah. they're not going under the grill or anything. No, like, no. You know, so I, I, just put it, I put the stick on now. <laughs> yeah. And then put some dough on the back of it. Oh, just to secure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Press that on like that. No, Jackie, we don't roll over with the rolling pin either. We just push no. it in and then. No, keep it level with the yeah. back, nice and flat. And then she just she just smooths it out with her thumb till you get to the end and then just pull the last bit off. And that, I've just patted that with corn flour because when I turn it out onto here, it just stops it from. It well, it shouldn't stick anyway, but I just think it's so much easier to pick them up when I put corn flour on the back. Okay, if you find they sort of spread a little bit, just push them back in. They could still have the sticks anyhow, because if they use them with the sugar paste, they yeah. can use mm-hmm. them to hold up on here. Yeah. yeah. So those two... Just send Laura a message, she'll be well chucked. So yeah, because we're not busy enough this week. <laughs> <laughs> Setting up for the show. Laura, can you just go and count on the straws out? Can I go and go and just put these in the oven, okay? And we'll set the yep. timer for 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll do a quick recap. Yeah. Do a quick week. Yeah, yeah, cool. And yeah. um, so, just really quickly, and um, if anyone's missed any of the start of the Facebook Live this evening, we're here with Karen Davies. And um, so, it's a bit of a change of scenery for us this evening. And um, if you've missed any of the Facebook Live so far, you can catch up when we're finished. The whole post will be pinned to the top of our Facebook page, um, and it will also it's also streaming to YouTube already. <laughs> um, but you can catch up when we're finished, so it will also get transferred to YouTube um, in its entirety. Is that it? Yeah, Karen's back. Okay. So, yes, I'm back. Okay. I've just Karen's put the timer back. on my phone for 10 minutes. So, um... Can I go and have some more of those hoisin chocolate? <laughs> chocolate oh, yeah, you like the, ma- the match sticks? <laughs> what are they called? Matchmakers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so... Um, it's... Of course, it's not worth me baking them all, putting them all in no, the oven or whatever. No, they're all the same, aren't they? Yeah, they yeah. are all the same. Which really. ones have you just done? So, with the stick? I've done Shall the get gin- one? Yes, that's it. There yeah. he is, gingerbread. Oh, that's so go. cute. Thank oh. you. I'll be your assistant. Yeah, now you that's see what right. I said earlier about the colour? Ah, oh, wow, yeah. yeah. You see the difference? You see, he's got treacle in him. Right. Treacle and brown sugar. This one's got the plain oh, caster girl. sugar and just golden syrup. Oh yes, there's the girl that matches. <laughs> it's good if you're doing a lot of them, it'll do look better all matching. Yeah, same recipe. <laughs> yeah, but they if, are if children don't like ginger, I mean, yes. most of them do. Yeah, think, yeah. You can vary it. You know, there's different flavours. There's ideas on the leaflet. Oh, they're all coming now. I know. <laughs> Carol, 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 Carol can't help yeah, herself. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Which eat? There's, well, I wouldn't eat. These have been. They've been over there for weeks. Oh, wow. <laughs> Glad I, didn't, you off. Glad I didn't, didn't make one earlier yet. then. Now she's got a bow in her hair as well. The little bow is on the mould as well. Or holly. So you can oh, add holly yeah, to that's a good idea. Whatever. Okay. Oh, I forgot to show you the heart as well. This little heart is a really lovely little cookie. So I've just patted it with the corn flour. Tap that out. And there's I've got some cookie dough in it. But I'll show you them. I'll show you the cakes I've done. 
using this. Okay, so just flatten out the dough, pop it in. It's far too much, so it's quite handy, that little point at the bottom of the heart, to just push it down and take off. Press really firmly around the edge, get all the detail, turn over, and out it comes. You've got a little snowflake there. Beautiful. The detail's the absolutely gorgeous. That's nice. Like, all yeah. you want to do is just paint the edge, yeah. paint the snowflake, you know? So, that's a good one. And of course, the little gingerbread people, you can pick up a few of those, Carol. Mm -hmm. yeah. These little tiny gingerbread people. Um, there we go, there's the heart. That's in sugar paste and fondant. Okay, you can actually put the white colour in first and yeah. then put your colour behind it. But these cookies, they're just painted. Okay. And then I think we're getting the little people here, the oh. gingerbread people. Okay. So now these are nice as well. You can just cut out a cookie oh, that's a lovely with a, idea. and then put them on top, yeah. which is a nice way of doing it. And then here we are, he's in sugar paste. I can't help myself, look. Oh, uh, that's cute, isn't it? The mm. tiny one. Yeah. They're gorgeous, yeah. aren't they? <laughs> I love them. Imagine the kids at Christmas. I, going back. I know. The good thing with Karen's molds all the kids could make them. Oh, really? Yeah, so you yeah. Could these get... are great for children. Because you, you can know... make, make the dough with yeah. them, yeah. they could put them in, and then afterwards yeah. they can just play with them. Yeah. I mean, that's such an yeah. easy thing to yeah. make. But if you it. set up the um, some yeah. colours, mm. set up some paints and brushes, with mix some powder colours with water, yeah. and then they can just paint them, decorate them, which I'll do. Shall I show you that bit now? Or oh, John, Mr. Take away. I'm just thinking... Yeah. Should I? I'll stick with these, I think, before I yeah. move on to the next mould. And do you want me to move decorate. anything? No, it's fine. They're fine as they are. If I do um, some colours. All this is going to be on there soon. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll pop her on a piece of kitchen paper. If it's easy, you can turn her to you. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. Yes. So we've sort of got, got a new camera system. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to do anything upside down oh, anymore. Hello, Karen. Phew. That's good. Yeah, being kind to you. Darker pink. Yeah. I think. So this is a rainbow dust. You've got rainbow mm -hmm. dusts, haven't you? This yeah. one is the strawberry, which is quite a dark pinky shade. Yeah. Um, because it's gingerbread, it is a little bit darker. So we'll just pat the colour, the colour into the lid, and then rub it into you into your paper. So there's no loose powder. There's lots of jealous people out there wanting to know what I'm eating. I'm <laughs> scoffing your Toberone. Oh, I'm just glad it's not the stale cookies. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was eyeballing them when I came in. I thought you made them for us to take home. Well, sometimes, you know, when we've been at the cake shows, I mean, I've made cookies with the moulds for years, and I'll have them on display, whatever. And the next thing you see somebody like <gasps> yeah. ten foot away walking off eating one. Oh, we've had that with our cake. We've already seen this tonight. Been there for. Yeah. Been there for yeah, you know everybody's picked them up. Oh and yeah, touch them. And, uh, oh. I have to put the non-fresh ones so, now in the display yeah. cabinet oh, because when yeah. I had them on the top, they just went yeah. missing. Yeah. Oh no. Oh dear. So I'll get out all the colours I need. It's all right, Maria. Don't worry. Dodging. <laughs> <laughs> Backwards and forwards. Hina, if you go after the live when it's finished, just scroll right back and then go forward again, and you'll see the cocktail. Uh, you'll see how the sticks been used. You can use a, wo a wooden skewer instead of cake pop sticks, absolutely fine. Right, we'll paint her now. So I've just got a little bit of alcohol mixed with the powder colour. We'll paint the heart in red. <laughs> Concentration. <laughs> you suddenly realise when you paint, you're not breathing. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you find that when you are painting, especially when you're yeah. recording, yeah. how heavy breathing you're breathing. you are. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've got a funny one here. Thanks, oh. Charlotte. If we split oh. the legs, you could hang them on the side of a mug. So <laughs> Um, funny you should yes, say that. There was a picture. <laughs> yes, I saw the picture. I'll get the Where? picture later. It's in the, the other room. It's, it's in the other room. Yeah. When we did the live before, yeah. there's um, a picture of coffee mugs and yeah. a tiny wee yeah. gingerbread to sat on the edge. Oh, 
Yeah, no, actually, it's there such a cute idea. Laura. I know, it's such a cute idea, though. Before, this is giving away all my secrets now. Before we did the photos, the photo shoot for all these latest ones, I went in Marks and Spencers. <laughs> but, you know, just cakes we could decorate, yeah. just so mm. it's quick, because I just don't have time to make everything I want to do. It just gets a bit mad sometimes. So um, how long would you keep them for, the cookies, right. if you want to make yeah. them as gifts? Yeah, good question. You knew that was coming in. I you? need to experiment with these. <laughs> I need to make a batch. I think they keep... Um, I think they would keep the same well, as any other biscuit yeah, in a tin. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say a week, yeah, but keep I'm them not in a sure. Tin. Yeah. I do need to experiment by making a batch and eating one every day. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's what a good experiment. Yeah, well, there's three yes. samplers here that can do that. <laughs> yeah, when Laura probably. gets the wedding out of the way this week, she'll be back on scoffing duty. Oh, the problem is, <laughs> I'll have to hide them if I do that. Laura's on full staff them. duty at the moment. Oh, okay. And then we'll do. Oh, look green. at her. She <laughs> she looks great, so she? cute. <laughs> it's nice to see that strawberry red being used, actually. Yeah. Mm. Mm, right. Uh, Sharon Ann, the cookie recipe actually comes with the mould. So when you buy the mould, you do get the cookie recipe. Having said that, we're not going to repeat it again now because Karen has got so much to show you. We're not going to repeat anything again. But what will happen is at the end of the live, this live is pinned to the top of our page. So at the end of the live, at your leisure, just fast forward to the bits you need to see. So go back to see where she made the recipe. It's just that if we keep repeating things, we'll never get done. We'll be here till tomorrow. <laughs> might lose a few people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll the same. And we've got a cake show it's to get same. ready for. Yeah. Oh, and it is a very, very easy recipe. I just, I just love it because it's usually I do it in a pan on top of the stove. You know, so you, you basically just dissolve the sugar in the syrup and water. Um, and like the, sh the sugar and crumbs icing sugar just makes it so easy because you haven't got to measure out and weigh all your ginger, your cinnamon, everything. So, and then you melt, you take it off the heat, put your butter in, mix the butter in, melt that in, and then add your flour, mix that in, put it in a polythene bag in the fridge. Well, Debbie Hargreaves has said she's experimented with the shortbread and an air airtight packaging and it lasted a month. Mm. Wow. And I have to agree. Um, I don't yeah. know about the little gift bags. I would probably put them in yeah. I'd put mm. them in a tin and then when you're yeah. ready to give them away, put them in the gift bags. Yeah, because yeah. that's the next thing. I've got yeah. gift bags down here to yeah. show you what you can do with them yeah. when you, you're selling them or giving them, you know, as presents right. at Christmas. So who's coming to see us at Cake and Bake? You come and see me first, then Karen. <laughs> <laughs> or you go and see Karen, then me. Forget yeah. everyone else. Oh, you can see Amy Sweet's down. <laughs> Oh, that's biscuits, sorry. <laughs> biscuits, biscuits. I do this so much Do you want me to go and get it? I'll go and get them out. It's all right. Actually, I don't even know where the oven is. Where's the oven? <laughs> do you know where the oven is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. Right, can we see anything on these cameras? I was just going to remind these people again. of our winter flavours. So we have launched our winter themed flavours. They are the same as last year so far. So just to recap, Karen this evening has used the toffee apple flavoured icing sugar in the biscuit cookie recipe. You can use any flavour of choice. So we've got toasted marshmallow, which in fact never actually left us from last week, last year. It was so no. popular. No, we couldn't get rid of it. No. Let's have it all summer. Yeah. yeah. We have apple crumble. We've got mulled wine. We've got Santa snowball, which is ginger and white chocolate. And the toffee apple, which we're all lusting over at the moment because of the smell. <laughs> we can eat them, they're fresh. Oh, wow. Now, I think they maybe need another minute or two, really, but for doing this tonight, I wasn't oh, going to go back again fantastic. in two minutes. Time. Yeah. But, what do we um, think of them? Toffee apple gingerbread men. Oh, and the smell <laughs> Shall is we just, amazing. Shall we just taste them? We'll taste them at the end. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just, just while we're talking about the icing sugars, while Karen just goes and puts that back in the oven, puts them away. The, we've now opened an eBay account, USA, and all our icing sugars are going on eBay USA. So if you wait till the end of the week, they will be there. It's a much cheaper way of getting them over to you. Just make sure you're buying them from us. So when you see the seller, make sure that you're buying them from us. And then you can put them all in your shopping basket and um, then eBay can sort out your shipping costs for you, which will be a lot cheaper than we are. Yeah. Because we can't get it there. So for those ladies who want 
flavoured icing sugars in the USA, go to eBay USA. At the moment, our listings are listed with our logo, but the photos are being redone and we're going to put lots of bundles on there for you. Just pa painting some spots. I love it. She is so cute. Okay. <laughs> Just add something. The kids would love doing this, yeah. wouldn't they? You know, when, oh, you, so much when you get them about do. seven, eight, nine, yes. and ten, and they're into yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the kids love it. If okay, I Jazzy here now, she'd be too busy next. sticking them in her mouth. Uh, <laughs> oh. Well, I'm hoping to use my uh, grandsons. <laughs> <laughs> to do something with yeah. them, do a little video of them doing Aww, that. And um, yeah. the toffee apple doesn't yeah. add cinnamon in it, but the apple crumble has cinnamon in it. Yeah. Okay. The toffee so. apple is just toffee, isn't it? An apple. Toffee and apple. Yeah. Yeah. Toffee apple. <laughs> <laughs> toffee apple. <laughs> I'm trying to work out an apple toffee. crumble is apple and cinnamon. Yes. Ooh. Have I got that right? Nice. Yes. Yes. We can't tell you all of our secrets, yes, but nice. that's the flavour that you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, apple crumble does contain cinnamon. And then the other good news that we've got about shipping is we've got our courier coming in to sort our shipping out on Wednesday. So we're having a meeting with him and then we will be going online. We're not going to do it this weekend because we're at the Kate show, but he's going to be getting it set up. So I don't know how soon we can get everything moved over. But that means we can start shipping to Southern Ireland again. We can start shipping to Italy, Spain, all the other uh, European countries. At the moment, we're just mainland UK. Now, I've painted eyelashes. A lot of people are scared of painting eyelashes. That brush size is three noughts, okay? Yep. And I use water instead of alcohol mixed with the powder. Because if I use the alcohol on a fine brush like that, by the time I move it over to paint, it's, it's dry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't do anything. So, mm -hmm. and, and what I do to paint them is just let the brush rest along the top of the eye and flick out and then okay. turn it the other way so you can paint. Because I can only yeah, paint that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't go that, that way. Yeah. Yeah. I can only go no. that way. So turn it round to make yeah, it easy make for it yourself. Easier. Okay. Um, I'm going out of space. I might use that again, actually. Um, and then finally, to finish off when you paint an eye, always put a little dot of white this is the fun bit. This is where you can turn her into something cute or something <laughs> evil, isn't it? Do tell right. them about the dots, Karen. Yeah, so there we go. You could use your water again, actually. And you, but as long as they're in the same position on each eye. <laughs> yeah. So the worst thing, way, the worst thing to do with eyes is to put the dot dead in the centre. Oh, yeah. They've got to go yeah. slightly to the side. So both yeah. eyes need to have the dots in the same way. So it doesn't matter whether they're both on the left, they're both on the right, they're both on the bottom. <laughs> Don't put them both on the top because it looks like she's a right miserable so and so. But, <laughs> but uh, she looks cute if she's looking down yeah. at you, sideways she's looking at you, and at the top she's like, yeah. not happy. Now, the problem when you paint with powders is that the water or the alcohol just evaporates and mm. dries away. So you're left with powder on the top. So when you touch it, it comes off on your fingers. So I've been thinking, I wonder, you know, the spray varnish, the edible varnish. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I, the ones on the tree, I have sprayed. Like the and I'm not sure. The shellac. shellac yeah. yeah. I'm not even sure if it's worked or not, because um, I did it all that quick today. Because I thought, even when you put them in these bags, sliding them in, you could, you know, Perhaps knock them yeah. or whatever. So if it's one on a stick, you put it in like this and then just tie up. Tie the bag a bit lower down so you could see her properly. You see her there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and tie it <laughs> at the bottom. Or if you're doing one that hasn't got a stick on, like a little. Just drip her in. For, like, these are nice for christening <laughs> favours yeah, as well. Yeah, nice okay. ideas. Scandalous Baby flowers. showers and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Did I say christening showers instead of baby no, showers? No, I think you said like christening favours. Yeah. Favours. Christening favours. Yeah. 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 I'm not sure if I said it wrong then. Yeah, so I think they look nice. It's all right. Could do a Marion. Really cute. And a light black. Light black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, that's basically the gingerbread one. So, if I put all these out of the way, and then maybe the next ones we'll do with sugar paste show you different ideas with the sugar paste. Stop licking the alcohol off the brush first, that would help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Honestly, the it's smell, not... the smell in here mm. is it's good. amazing. So, Abby, <laughs> the one that, um, the flavoured icing sugar that Karen used for the gingerbread one, she used the gingerbread flavoured icing sugar, and then she just made the other ones with the toffee apple. So you can use any flavour. You can use raspberry ripple, strawberry yeah. milkshake. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Use any flavour that you like, but these are our winter flavours. Right, I might still take those off. Um, Susan, I don't know about Canada, where they can buy on eBay. I think what we're doing, we're sourcing out the USA eBay first so that they can get our sugars. Then I know that we're going to go on to Canada and Australia just to make sure the shipping is much more cheaper. We can't do it at eBay rates. So um, it's best that we just send it all straight into eBay. They give you a price and it'll be a lot cheaper yeah. for you. Yeah. I think it works at about £12 or something to ship. I'm not sure. Whereas if you come with us, it's like 50 quid. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> we are, it's not just weight with us when we get a quote. It's weight and parcel dimensions. Yeah. Mm. And it's volumetric weight. So even you if the item... It's a nightmare, isn't it? it even is if the total. item doesn't weigh it, if the no. volumetric weight of the box is yeah. heavier, you have to go with that. Yeah. It's an absolute minefield. And trust us, if you get that wrong and declare it wrong, you oh, get slapped with just... a ma massive charge. <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever been slapped with the chargers? Not, oh. not yet. <laughs> We've <laughs> cried. We've yeah. cried because if you go slightly over, mm -hmm. that like it could have been twenty or pound for a parcel or thirty quid, but they'll slap us with fifty yeah. quid or something. Yeah, they? it's no. crazy. Oh, Makes no. us cry. Oh. Makes right, me cry. I'm going to do this snowman using different colours. Okay, putting different colours of paste in. I've just washed my hands, so I don't have to dry them very well. They're a bit sticky. Okay, so if I do a scarf first. Who's got a gold award? It says, well done on your gold award. Carol Gattenby said, well done on your gold award. Gold award. award? We missed something. <gasps> no, I don't know. We're not sure whether we for missed what? something there, Carol. Is that for us? Yeah. Hmm. Who's got what? <laughs> yeah, she can use the pens That's to colour in, but I reckon you'll go... I think the brushes would be better. Yeah. Oh. Right, I'm going to put the scarf on. So what I'm going to do is just put each piece in. I don't sell yes. the cookie bags. Where did you get the cookie bags from, Karen? Um, my local cake shop actually gave me them. <laughs> we do sell we yeah. do sell cookie bags, but we don't sell those ones. I think it's quite a few different things, isn't there? Oh, Karen Place, that's quite interesting. Why do you do black eyes with a white pupil when it's the other way around? But I it's, think it would look scary. It's not, yeah, it's not really. Um, a black eye with a white pupil. It's just, it's it's a cartoon sort of face, isn't it? They're all yeah. cartoon yeah. faces. So I've just done the eye as black, the whole eye as black. And the white dot is a reflection of light. Yeah. See, well, like when I look at yeah. Maria's eyes, I yeah. see a white dot. Yeah. You can actually yeah. see to be fair, the white I think, dot. Yeah, to be I think Nesma says it's per perfect. It's to show a sparkle in the eye. Yes, twinkle. A twinkle, sparkle. A sparkle. That's it. That's the yeah. word I was looking yes. for. Thank yeah. you. Nesma. <laughs> Nesma. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's what it is. When I use, like, if I use our faces mould and uh, mould a, a head, a person's yeah. head, then I'll paint the whole eye yes. white. Then the, the eye colour, colour yeah. then the yeah. black in the middle, you and that, still yeah. put the white dot. So, Diana, on. yes, you can make these with marzipan, but you might need to strengthen yeah. the marzipan. And yeah, it's marzipan true. Marzipan will work. Well, right, good. And Jennifer yeah. says it's true. If you lightly slit steam anything with the dust, it will set it. Yes. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's okay as long as they've got a stick in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd burn my fingers. For yeah, yeah. The reason I haven't. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, and it'd have to be very lightly steamed, but yeah, I haven't done that. But it would probably work with the stick, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so I've put the blue, just to put the other colour in, and then we'll put white behind it. Oh, I've forgotten his hat. So, I always try and flatten the paste into the shape, roughly the shape it's going into. Rather than just putting the so while we're talking about postage, somebody just said, are we still sending to the Orkney Islands? Yes. Well, let me just tell you something, guys. At the moment, we've not sorted our shipping out and we're just charging a standard rate for shipping for like Jersey, Guernsey, the Orkney Islands. And to be fair, we are charged a lot more by the courier. So we're making a massive loss. 
Um, unfortunately, when we do move over to the proper courier settings, you might find some of those areas the price might go up. It's nothing to do with us, it really is the courier. We can't continue making a loss, but we've been making a loss for years on postage because we've just never put a proper system in place yeah. and we have to do that now. Mm. It is very difficult. It because is. Because whichever way you do it, understand. it's never right. No. Because it's so yeah. complicated now. Years ago, if you're using Royal Mail, it was just by the weight. Yeah. And now it isn't. No, no it isn't. No. So I've just very quickly, I've just put a tiny, tiny little bit of glue or, wa or water would do at the back of that paste. If it feels sticky, you don't really have to do that. The paste should stick to it, but I just want to make extra sure. Which one have you got out, Karen? It's okay. Which, Which paste? Uh, yeah. Vanilla. Not your favourite. <laughs> she just knew I'd sit here and scoff it all. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now I could put his nose in as well, actually. We're not greasing. Yeah, we're not greasing the mould with no. anything. Karen does not grease her moulds. I'll let no. Karen tell you now. No, I don't like. Some people put tracks in them and things. I don't like doing that because I want to dust them and paint them straight away when they come out. And corn flour just releases so much easier from the mould. Okay, I'm a bit sticky. So I'll put a tiny little piece of, ooh, see, I'm stickier. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you shout a few comments now. There's disadvantages to these moulds being, uh, you know, great at releasing paste. They stick to your fingers at the slightest opportunity of the paste. Okay, so um, now I'm just going to put the paste behind. So I, I want to flatten this out so it'll press in easier rather than pushing it and disturbing that paste underneath, okay? That's not enough, but I'll add some to it. So I'll push it up to the edges. It's a little bit shallow, definitely shallow there. And if you want them to stand up um, without any support behind, you would definitely need to add some Tylo powder, CMC powder, to your paste to make sure um, they don't move, don't uh, fall over. Okay, so that's ready to come out. So just turn it over, bend the mould back, and out he comes with his little coloured colored hat and scarf on. <laughs> but you could do it all in white and just paint it, like I painted the little girl before. And I'll do some more, I will do um, some more for that. But he still needs finishing off with the powders and everything. And I'll get another piece of paper. So, a bit of pink. Like I say, don't ever just go into your colour and then straight onto your figure because you definitely have too much colour. Once you put it on, you can't take it off. Yeah. Okay, so I just put his cheeks on. Then I'm going to brush him all over with a pearl luster. Hello there. I know my back's back killing me. Oh. <laughs> I just said to Laura, you're going to have to do comments. I think um, your back, if you've got a back, bad back, I think it does hurt when you yeah. stood up a long time. So I'm just going to brush the luster all over him there and avoid his nose, his carrot nose. <laughs> doing everything with your moles, don't I just wish I had time. <laughs> okay, so he's all lusted, so he looks like he's frozen. The frozen twos out, isn't it? Oh soon, yeah, I think. really oh. soon, I think. Snowflake mould be good. There you go, there. yeah. <laughs> Where did I put my... You'd have to bring out a princess mould, Karen. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dot of white into each eye like before he's adorable yeah, he's <laughs> so cute oh look at hey. that lovely how cute is that <laughs> 
So, so the, the, yeah, you see, he's on the tree. There's lots of these on the tree, and I make a hole with a straw, drinking yep. straw, to make you know so they can hang up on the tree. Fantastic. Okay. Do we love that one? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm not going to do every figure. I'll show you the others. I think there's some here. There's Santas, isn't there? Are they cookies. So yeah, they're cookies. Oh, there's a snowman on a stick. Um, oh, the reindeers. Now his ears are bent. Oh, look at that. To him. I think there's that many things on the table well, he's got a bit squashed. So he's he's been moulded in the, all in light brown and then his antlers and hooves are painted, his nose and eyes are painted. But it's just some brown powder on to shade him on there. And Karen, let me yes. see that cake at the back there where you've oh, done yes. that Christmas one there. Yes, as well. I'll bring him in. There's a Santa cookie he's just painted and the snowman. Fabulous. Aren't they great? Okay, so and then look at this one. Right, which one? The big oh, one. Oh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, um, do the big one first then. Oh, oh, sorry. It's right. <laughs> oh, heavy, isn't it? It's a heavy one. There we go. Oh. So just look how fabulous this is. Now, this is the snowflake mould, isn't it, around the second tier and yes. the top tier? I'm going to show you that soon. Oh, good. And okay. I love the idea of doing it with the two different colours to sprinkle yeah. on, isn't that good? Yeah. Give it that 3D effect. And then the mould here, you've got the uh, gingerbread cookies, you've got the, what's, what's this one called Christmas again? Cookie. Yeah, the Christmas cookie mould. Christmas cookie mold. cookies, it's that's got it. got Santa, the reindeer, and the snowman on. How fantastic. And that's all sugar paste, that one, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. Yeah, how fantastic. Don't you just love it? That's mm -hmm. just, and to me, that's easy to create. Yeah. There There's two cakes that I didn't bring in in the front there. That oh, I'll go and find them. The very easiest. So the, the only problem I would find is straight edges. Yeah, the but one. If you do the Brina's upside down method, we'll yeah. solve that one. Yeah, the um, yeah one's got Santa and reindeer on, and the other's got the gingerbread people on, and they're just very very easy cakes, very quick and easy to do, which is what you want. Absolutely. Like for because at Christmas you do end up doing them gifts for people yeah. and to sell or you know fundraising. But it's so lovely, like even for Christmas mm. dinner, as a little favour on everyone's plate, you yeah. know. Yeah. It's yeah. such a lovely These idea. These Christmas cakes would be yeah. so easy to achieve. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well there Look you are. That. And what you, you know, when, if you have trouble covering a cake, um, it's sometimes easier. Like this one, you just do the red sugar paste around the sides. So you just yeah. roll and cut out a big strip to put around the sides. And then the top, if you get a cake board or a, a, just a template with greaseproof paper, and then you just cut the uneven edge. It's like a drip cake, yeah, really, yeah. isn't it? Obviously yeah. not, not yeah, quite like the same, that. but in sugar yeah. paste. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. go over the edge. Now, can you see that one? Yeah, lovely. How cool. Where I've cut it, I've just smoothed the edge like with my finger. Yeah, just to, the rough know, edge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then I've used the snowflake mould. Or uh, the snowflakes on one of them as well, isn't there? Oh, on the, yeah, on yeah, one of them. Yeah. That, that one. Yeah, the snowflakes. On there as well, so they're just quick, easy cakes. Yeah, like I say, one with Santa and the reindeer. Well, I think anybody they're can achieve them, aren't they? Yeah, and they look <laughs> like they're so they come straight out of the cake yeah. shop. <laughs> How fabulous is that? Gorgeous. <laughs> right, I'll take them off you. Yeah. Back again. Thank you. Oh, oops. Feel like a waitress me tonight. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, so. Okay, this one, the knitted mould, you've got knitted clothes, the jumper, yeah. the hat, bubble hat, two sizes of mittens. This is to go with the hat as well, if you wanted to make the hat more detailed. You can also put a snowflake on the hat, the jumper, whatever you want. Um, so you can use it for christening cakes, baby showers, you've got a little teddy bear and a little duck Aww. as well. So you can do baby mm -hmm. sort of themed cakes with them. So it's not oh, just sorry. for Christmas, like I say, it's for um, for baby showers. And I forgot about that little duck on there as well. Yeah, yeah the duck and the teddy. teddy. I've seen you do something <clears throat> here with them. What I'll do now, I might show you the snowflakes first, just so I can build this cake up a little bit, do some more on this. So I need to get rid of some of these things here. Wait, which one's got your little Christmas tree in as well? Little Christmas tree. Oh, that one. Or have you just cut the top off your big Christmas no, no, tree? No, no, no. That's the that's the small one. That is on the Winter Village mold. Oh, you know, the houses. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that you want to be fair, you can incorporate them all in from last year's, can't you? Yeah, you can mix them. Always mix and match. I'm just gonna. 
way be easier. Yeah. Yeah. What do you need to take out the top? Do you want me to go and put this back in the fridge for you? Um, or you yeah, be I, don't, I, probably don't, I probably don't need it now because I'll just mould in sugar paste because it's the same technique really, whatever you do. Okay. okay, so I'll roll the paste into the snowflake mould first and put that on the side of the cake. And this, this is three dummy cakes. So I've iced all three first um, rather than have dummies on show sort of thing. So what you can do when you've got when you're doing your cakes is just ice the top. Yeah. Just put sugar paste on the top and then use the snowflakes as the side covering. So this is our sugar paste and I've coloured it with a tiny bit of ice blue colour. Needed it in. There's nothing added, it will work in the moulds without adding anything to it. So I'll just knead it to get it nice and smooth first. Okay. And then start to roll that out. <laughs> it's just so nice, isn't oh, it? The effect. Beautiful. So quick and easy. Okay, that's ready to go in now. But I'm going to use that to... mold on last year. I must have used it one of the Christmas cakes, didn't I? Yes, you did. Hmm? Was it some. some... For Laura. For Laura, you said. Take... Can't you remember that Christmas cake I took home, Laura? No, I think you used the winter wreath on mine. No, the winter wreath around the top. Well, the winter wreath around the side. Oh, bum, bum, bum. Anyway, I've started to roll out a strip, put it into the mould and then make sure it's pushed into the corners. You don't have to worry about it going over the edges. You can trim the edges when it comes out. And then just start to roll the paste in. And you start to see it looking uneven. You can see the shape. So once you see that, you can't go any, it won't roll any thinner. So Karen is actually using the Karen Davies sugar paste. So it's available in marshmallow and vanilla flavour. It's a one kilo block and they're seven pounds each. And they are amazing. Obviously made and designed specifically um, for use just yeah. as that. How easy was that? <laughs> no tricks. Maybe. I was waiting to jump in there and say, this yeah. is how easy That's it is. That's it. It just did it for itself. Yeah. It really yeah. does. So just take a cutting wheel and trim off that excess paste. That makes it easier doing it like that, doesn't it? Yeah, use a, one of these or I a pizza. I spend all my time trying to get it nice and neat. <laughs> no, with this, well, the edges are straight. So if yeah. the edges are straight, don't worry about keeping it all in the mould. And I'm um, just going to give you a warning. The vanilla is delicious, but the marshmallow, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I'm not oh. sure you'll get any on the cake. <laughs> Right, I'm just going to check the depth. I think it's exactly right. It's luckily, <laughs> if it's not, you know, you're just going to trim yeah. a, a little bit off. Now, where are this? There, isn't it? And somewhere, the glue brush. This is just very, very thin edible glue. But water would do for this. And it is going to go almost all the way round, if not all the way round, I think. So if you just take that up, I'm going to do go right for the centre front, pop that on. But you see, like I said, it's just you, such a fabulous small Who came up with that yeah, one? Yeah, this is one of mine. Is it one of yours? Yeah. Do you get credit for this one? Yeah. Laura Alice isn't getting credit for it. It's absolutely no. beautiful. It might have been her idea, I can't remember. Because <laughs> we sort of bounce off each other sometimes you know say do this what do you think of that no don't do that do this you know it's like so it's great like i say she hasn't stopped working really she yeah. probably, had, probably had about two days off if yeah. that if Bless that you know very good she's been amazing right so okay so you can see it's starting to look quite nice there the next piece would be to here to put them on now when you where they join obviously because it's a straight line you push them as close together as you can and then there's extra snowflakes here that you can mold to put over the joins ah that's okay. clever yeah 
So what I'm going to do now is just going to, I'll just mould a hat, another hat to put on, and then I'll show you putting the, doing the snowflakes, putting those on. Right, Laura's just told me that we're out of stock, but we're not out of stock. So I'm just going to put mm -hmm. them in. I think I didn't hit the save button before. And that's it. Which one is it? The gingerbread. The gingerbread. Before I go, I'll make sure, because I just topped up before we went live. Mm -hmm. So before we go, if we've sold all them already, Karen, we'd best have some more oh. ready. <laughs> oh, what's that? Sorry, which one? The gingerbread, the gingerbread one. one. Yes, I have. Yeah. I have got lots of them. Um, right, so I've, which colours have I done? So I need lilac. Now I've got four different colours to put on here. And I'm going to put the snowflakes, extra snowflakes on to match the hats in the colours to match the hats as well. Um, because this cake is, is so popular. It was so popular last year, a very similar one. Um, and then when I did the red snowflakes, I thought, oh, I like the coloured snowflakes, so I need to do something else. So it's sort of a cross between the two cakes. So I put some cornflour into the hat, tap it out, um, then what's my joke? See, considering everything is so close, <laughs> you lose it every Do you know what? I didn't press <laughs> save for all the things before. Save for what, sorry? You know when stock. I put all the moulds in stock? Um, I didn't press save. Oh, right, let me go and get that list. It's out there, isn't it? It is somewhere. And then I can go and Yeah, I think it's in the stuff. in the middle section. Yeah. Okay, so we'll put the bobble in first in white. And then we want the, the rim of the hat. The rib. So just need the paste, make it smooth. Don't worry guys, I'm updating now. <laughs> I can tell it's not updated. Oh. Oh, a lot to remember, isn't there? Yeah. So I'm just putting this along and then I'll take off the excess at the end there, what I don't need. Okay, and then the colour. Just a tiny little bit of glue across on the hat. I think it's harder to tell when you're putting sections of paste in. Sometimes it's harder to tell how much you need. <laughs> <laughs> so just make sure it overlaps. Is that the right colour? No, I'm supposed to do that. Oh, <laughs> 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 I'm the same as the ah. Oh dear me, wake up. Coffee isn't, <laughs> coffee isn't working. <laughs> So I'm going to very quickly do another one, just in case you missed it. <laughs> it's always good to recap anyway. Yeah. Oh, silly me. Right, some white into there. And then across the bottom. Yeah, these would be nice for... Um, Place settings, yeah, things, so they could put the names on or something. Really nice, okay. Straight across and take off. Lilac, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Laura, can you just check now that no, that's fine? Which mold was it? That was out of stock. I didn't actually say gingerbread was out of stock. Oh, I know why. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know why. There's, there's 20 there to dispatch. Wow. Okay. Oh, crikey. I'm scared now. I'm about to buy some more. <laughs> okay. We've got them. Don't worry. Yeah. Okay, um, so that's ready again. Just worry what Laura's going to say to me tomorrow. Oh, she's got to sort this mess out. Pressed firmly. Turn it over. We'll just do a full stop check out in the week. Okay, and there's the little hat. I'll pop that on. Matter really does it? Um, did I have? I'm just going to get some royal icing in a bag to attach the hat. I'd rather use royal icing for this because it will hold a bit stronger because yeah. it's quite a heavy piece. If it was um, too small, soft, a small soft item, 
I would just use glue, edible glue. it along the bottom because there is real ribbon on there it's not um, not edible <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it's better to not stick the hat yeah. to the ribbon because then it will come off easier it would actually probably if you undid it at the back yeah probably come with it pull it straight yeah. through because I've only attached it at the back with royal icing yeah so it would probably just go straight pull straight off then okay and then we need a little white snowflake so we've got snowflakes here on this mould, so I'll just put some cornflour in and put the paste in and you see something so small and so thin will still come out very very easily. And also very detailed as well. Yeah, yeah, and I can press as hard yep. as I like, it will still come out. So see there how loose it Literally is? Literally just, it yeah, just tipped out. down. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that on here. The hat on their own looks gorgeous, so, but then when yeah, you add the snowflake, I didn't know what to do. I was yeah. going to do the small mitten in between, but then I thought, oh, no, I'll just do hats. Yeah, they look this. gorgeous. Just keep it very, very simple. Yeah. It's the colours as well. It it's is. nice doing, instead of your red and green. Yeah, you know, yeah. No, they are lovely colours. Uh, a bit prettier. So I've got other snowflakes I made earlier, but I'll show you these snowflakes on here because these are a bit finer. Um, These big ones, although they're big, they are quite... Um, quite worrying really when you do them you think oh, yeah really that's not the, going to come the out the detail is do. very very fine yeah, isn't they it they do come out very easily so if i just quickly do i think i might do dark blue i'm just looking at colors i've got some down here you know here's some i made earlier sort of thing <laughs> so i might do blue i think yeah so if i just take a piece of paste press it on make sure you're not sticky because like I said earlier, that when they're so shallow like this, if they're sticky, they just come out on your fingers. So just push it down flat. And then I just use my thumb. I hardly ever use a knife yeah. to take off the excess. And I'll go that way as well. Because that one is quite a lacy one. It's got little holes in it. Then just rub that smooth. And that will come out in a minute. And then the one this side. Purposely purposefully <laughs> purposefully putting in too much yeah and that's just so you because can that get fills, all of the details in the little yeah. the little pieces on the edge and then again just rub off with your thumb you know and this is where a lot of people say put it in the freezer no you don't want to do that if you've got no. lots of them to make you want them to come out straight yes. away yes yeah so you turn the mold over and then you see, I'm just sort of just, pushing yeah. like that. Yeah, but you can see back. it. It's coming out and straight if you away. Flick like that as well, that yeah. helps it come out. And then this one. This is the one I still like. Think, oh, oh, oh come on. Yeah. It does, it does. <laughs> Again, flick, flick. Yeah, flick. straight away. And it comes out. Okay. They are just gorgeous. The detail oh, they're is so stunning. stunning. Yeah, they're, they're nice. so cute. They are nice. So now I want to put them in little groups. So this afternoon, I did different colours, oh, same wow. as the mittens. Um, oh, didn't I do white? No, I forgot to do white. <laughs> I was going to do some white as well. I think I've got loads. That's yeah. the same as this. So you can just put them on in little groups. Um, now, before you put them on, you can wash the cornflour yeah. off with a damp paintbrush with water or alcohol or do it when they're on. I'm going to do it tomorrow when they're dry. When they're yeah. on, it'll take forever now doing them now. So all you need to do is take one of your snowflakes some royal icing on and just attach. I love that effect. I think it's yeah, so pretty. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? And then just do some different colours. All quite little groups of two or three yeah. quite close together. It looks nice. This one's got little lacy holes in, so I'm trying not to get the royal icing. Right, everything's back in start. Oh, close. Oh, 
wish I'd done some white. I'm annoyed. <laughs> I can you have not got any white to do? Well, I could do it. It just takes a while for... Oh, to hide. And everyone know. will get... Well, no, no, I can put them on straight away, but yeah. it just gets a bit boring for people, I think, to watch. I don't think so. Don't you? No. <laughs> we are an hour and <laughs> 20 in now. Oh, so, don't right. Oh, right. Oh, so, gosh. just depending on what we've got oh. left, just thought I'd better tell you. Yeah. Well, who oh. wants to stay longer and see everything? Oh. No. Because we've got babies everything. to do and rattles oh, yes, and all yes. sorts yes. to do. Yes, yes. Teddy yeah. bear. I've got to do the teddy bears. Yeah. Oh, I, love, I love the little teddy bear. Yeah. Yeah. And it's good to be doing the little donkey. Oh, the donkey. <laughs> I'm taking away then. You're going to do. You're going to do yeah. your wedding cake ones. Which one? A wedding cake one. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. I'll do those. Right. So, so guys, we're going to run over. Go and get your husbands or your partners or your kids. Wake them up. <laughs> Phone them up on their mobiles. They'll all be in bed there on the iPads. Tell them to make a brew. Oh, <laughs> I can leave that as it is yeah. for now. But I think I do yeah. need to put some white on, yeah. which I completely forgot about. I was That's that busy. Fast. Thinking, oh, I've got that colour, that colour, that colour. Doing all the colours now, I've got the So I will add some more. If you're at Cake and Bake next week, come You'll and see, see it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm taking yeah. it. I don't know yet if I've got a box or not, because yeah. I won't get a box now in time. So I'll have to see what, if I've got a recycled box I can use. But anyway. I don't know how you get them all to Cake and Bake in the box. Oh, that's a nightmare. Well, you do, you it's, really it's like a puzzle, yeah. you know, when we when we fill the van, because you've got yeah. to put everything in. It is like fitting together a big, big puzzle, really. Oh, thank you. That'll do, that's it. So just, so, just giving you a warning, we are going to run over, so do be prepared. So go and phone your mates, anybody, mm -hmm. next door neighbour, <laughs> tell them you need a brew. Oh. And if you need a wee, take your phone with you. <laughs> just don't tell us. <laughs> Okay, I'll just do the teddy bear here because I do, I think he's gorgeous. I love yeah. that teddy. And then really, I'm... really nice teddy bear. So, let's do him in pale blue. Carol's getting some examples oh, yeah. now of the bear. And he's lovely, the little cookies are nice. So you can find a cookie there. Oh, I've got them all. Painted cookie. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, one of my favourites this week. Are these all going for the show? Are these all ready for sticking on cake some, and stuff? Some, they're not getting, well, it's difficult to show these. At the shows, I'll take some of them, but not all. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so, this is just I love that that just so, look how cute mm -hmm. that is. Mm -hmm. Lottie had on one and like that the today. Name. Oh, is that she from has her? No, it's just Lottie. No, she just called her Lottie, actually. Yeah, it's just Lottie. But Barry's mum was Letitia, and everyone uh, called her Lottie. Oh, that's so, right. so it's lovely. nice, yeah. Yeah, so she had a little suit like this on today, and mm -hmm. said, Daddy and me. Oh, Aww. So, <laughs> so, let's take the excess off. See, no knife. Just use your thumb. That's ready to come out. But always make sure you've pressed really hard behind the nose because it's so disappointing when they come out and they've got no, no nose. No, no. <laughs> it's like, ah, <laughs> right, so turn it over, just bend. <laughs> and there he is. Oh, really cute. cute. So cute. Absolutely yeah. lovely. And then same as before, the, the pinks into his ears. And the paws. So Denise, the gingerbread mould is back in stock. I didn't update the stock just before we went live. I put them all in stock and didn't press save. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I hope that's what I did. Oh. Right, painting again. Eileen, Karen is using her own sugar paste. Sugar paste. It's perfect for a mould and, if I'm honest, any other mould. So really very, very good. If you're looking for the very fine uh, paint brushes, Karen's using one here with a wooden stick, but we do have the Global Sugar Art Network, um, Network, Global Sugar Artist, Artist <laughs> Network brushes. You've seen them, haven't you, Karen? They're yeah. absolutely yeah, they're stunning. We sell them and they are beautiful for fine detail. Um, they're in the magazine as well. So if you pick up the magazine, there's, uh, tells you more it tells you more things about them. What else? Everybody is loving everything <laughs> that you're doing. Aww. So Nikki King, they're called Global Sugar Artist Network. Have they? Yes. Yeah, got that. 
in the end. Long name. Yes. Donna oh, Ryan yes. has sent you an order, Laura. I believe so. Oh. Donna will be very pleased when she will go to eBay and just buy yeah. direct well, sugars. The sugars, yeah, but Donna doesn't just buy oh. sugars. <laughs> Leslie Smith, hi everyone. I've had such a crap day. What a delight oh, to come on oh, and see you live. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Oh. I'm not laughing because you've had a crap day. No. <laughs> uh, hope we cheered you up. Oh, Karen, that is so beautiful. So, so cute. cute. But there, it, there he is, the cookie version. There we go and see the difference. Yeah, absolutely oh, lovely. I just grabbed the blue paste because yeah. I've completely forgotten to do like a teddy bear colour. So yeah. yeah. Beautiful. But it's yeah. it's still but relevant and it's yeah. so adaptable, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Again, they're nice with the cookie stick in for yeah. parties and for children's parties and things. Okay, yeah, I'll tell you, you've got to turn them upside down there. Uh, which camera are we on? No, it's alright, I'm doing both. <laughs> yeah. You can have them facing oh, you, yeah, Karen. Oh, that way. Yeah. Oh, I can look like that. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see oh. them. Put it down on the table and then yeah. you can see them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd put a bow on that as well. I think it'd be nice with a little bow on his neck as well. So okay. on this mould, what other little extra so, bits to get in there? we've got the rattle, baby mm -hmm. rattle, baby bottle. They're nice for cookies, you know, for yeah. baby, baby showers. They're quite amusing. A little baby grow. Yeah, and your banner. cute. And the banner. Yeah, the bunting. Yeah. yeah, bunting. The bunting's brilliant, the isn't bunting's it? It's banner. all brilliant. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love it. What do you all think, everybody? Aren't they brilliant? Mm -hmm. oh. So what's next? What's next? Wedding. What's next? Wedding. 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 So Wedding. get yourself prepared. You're going to use these, aren't you? I am. So there's a family watching, but just give it away. No, it's fine. Laura's going to a mm -hmm. wedding this weekend. Her yeah. brother's getting married. Aww. So she's a uh, eyeball dual mould. <gasps> Good. Mm. Right. Um, I'll do this one because this is a very general, you know, I'll just, I mean, I'll these just two. The biscuit version. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these are. Sorry. Hello. Great for enga engagement parties. They're there's great. Some, there's yeah. some nice ones on that little know, glass I'm dish. I'm going to get Carol. them. I'm going to surprise them. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Jumping ahead again. Oh, they have to wait for some things. Oh. I'm right. waiting for the final thing. This is a nice colour here. They're full of biscuits, aren't they? Making some space. <laughs> yeah, they're just painted biscuits. Yeah, so they're painted. Paint them. And then, da 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 da. These, what you've sprinkled on these? Um, edible glitter. Ooh. Which is edible. We've got that bling bling, which is beautiful. Yeah. That would go yeah. on here. Yeah. Mm hmm. Look at that. I don't know whether you can see, can you see the glitter? Yes, yeah, you really can. <laughs> beautiful. So there's that one. Sort of match that's so pretty. Together. Oh, that gives you an idea for yeah. this weekend, Laura. I got Get loads of ideas. <laughs> what are you doing Thursday night? <laughs> <laughs> Apart from having my hair, my nails, and my eyebrows, that I'm not doing a load of cookies. <laughs> Out of all of them, though, this this set, this mold, these are the quickest. So yeah. You know, to decorate. Yeah. It's so easy. Well, we like the diamond ring. We're hoping there's a bloke watching who might want to buy it. <laughs> only with a ring we give with a diamond give like that. Out. Laura's been single far too long, so oh, if there's any gosh. eligible batches out Thanks, there, Carol. please message through to me. Me and Laura, me and Maria will uh, we'll go through You're your going profiles. To judge the applicants. <laughs> Right, this is ready to come out. Again, make sure that you've pressed really hard where the flowers are so you get the detail. Oh, that is Turn it over. Mm -hmm. Out it comes. So that would be your cookie. If yeah. you bake your cookie, it comes out. And I suppose you could put a little bit of red in those roses and then put white behind it, couldn't you? you red can sugar do, paste? Yeah, do whatever and the you roses want. Whatever yeah. you want. Okay. And then you wouldn't have to paint them then, would you? No. Well, so I tend to just brush powder on. Yeah, that's really easy so, there. Yeah. yeah, just picks the details oh, straight up. That's you, so oh, that's Anna. Anna. <laughs> Nothing artistic about it, is that? Don't, but don't tell your customers. No. <laughs> don't tell your customers that. You can actually that. make just cut out the love heart biscuits, cut, put that in the sugar paste and sit them on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I know, but, well, the, but, yeah, yeah. but the thing is now, if my family have seen that mould, I'll be expecting them. <laughs> yes, but you can do that. You could, you could actually just go and roll out yeah. love hearts. Yeah. Cut them out for the same size. Make while they're in the oven, make them. Yeah. Then when they cool down, bang, straight on top. Done. Done. Job. 
So they get a bit of both worlds there. They get the uh, they get the biscuit and, and sugar paste as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. Oh, see how easy is that? that? There's nothing Very artistic. Nice. Nothing artistic about it. I tell you what, if you had to sweet set, have you got the cookie set here? We should have brought the cookie set. We could have put initials on it and painted oh, them in. That's a nice mm -hmm. idea. Well, I, I might give that, that. I'll try that. If I've got time, I'll try that and I'll post it on the community yeah, page. You can put that in the cookie set or the vanilla yes. set. Yeah. Now, you're not supposed to blow away. There's too much dust on there. Let me just get my little. So, guys, we just thought we should have brought the sets with us. But if you've got the sweet stamp cookie set or the vanilla set, you can either write just married, you could put, put uh, the initials, the initials yeah, on. That's a nice idea. Yeah. Or the word love or word something love, like yeah. that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We, were, we did have, we were going to put Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. Or, and then yeah. we put, no, you can... But you know, you, want you can to. go as far yeah, so as you want to. Yeah. Because now it could be Mr. and Mr. Exactly. Or yeah. Mrs. and Mrs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we've done Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Cake this weekend. Yeah. Did you see that on the community group this weekend? Is it the silhouettes? Yeah, the lady yes. made it for her son. What yes. a lovely cake yeah. that was. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we, that's why we left it plain. Or you can put a name on it, whatever yeah. you want. Okay. So, yeah, that's a really lovely. pretty one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, obviously, the, the wedding cake, exactly the same mm. way to colour. That's the way I've coloured the roses on here. Just brush the powders onto them. Mm. Okay. They're great. And then the ring, that's just, Laura, the silver is painted. Laura's got an eye on one of those. <laughs> it's so painted as well. Any of you guys who think you're wealthy enough to take Laura on? <gasps> Rich one for you. We don't want a poor one. My mum, my mum always oh. says the lucky, the lucky guy, lucky guy, mm. unlucky guy has to be deaf and rich. Deaf and rich. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Laura's been a bridesmaid this weekend. No, I'm not. I'm not bridesmaid. Oh, you're not bridesmaid. I'm, I think I'm too old to be a bridesmaid. Oh, so you're a bridesmaid. <laughs> I'm guest. Guest. Ah, oh, right. Guess. Of course. Okay, my brother. Oh. Right. So we've just about shown you everything. Maybe sort of talk through the cakes a little. Yeah, like, they're desperate to see that gingerbread. Oh, yes. yeah, we love this. Yeah, I love this one. Absolutely. Look how lovely that love is. Love this. Now, Alice made this at when she was eight months pregnant. Wow. I think. So, <laughs> so uh, kept her busy. Yes. <laughs> right till right till the end. So this is your Christmas tree okay, from yes. last year, but you've cut it down. Yes, right there. you just put less paste in the mold and just, just rough the bottom mold, edge. You know, with scissors or whatever and this is the cookie one that's the yes. christmas cookies and then yeah. how did you do that yeah. door karen the door so easy it's just you roll out paste and just mark the lines with a ruler yeah. anything you know straight yeah. Yeah. with the ruler and then the edge is our royal icing mold if you sort of look yeah. closely all the piping is from our royal icing mm, mold or the, or the pipe shell border yeah as well and mm. um, even like these the swells and everything yeah. from the royal icing mold so it was so useful that one for this it just goes so mm. well yeah you know than having to try and pipe it all neatly um and then uh, alice has used our brick mold for the roof mm -hmm. as well. fantastic so there, i didn't know you had a brick mold yes when did that rustic happen? brick a few years ago i've Isn't never seen a rustic that? brick i'll give you one to take home <laughs> yeah, yeah, i've never seen a rustic brick, brick. Yeah, I've never done that. I've never done that. I never did. Don't have a little bit. You did the royal shop. icing till just now. No. And they're looking at the royal no. icing. Oh, before you go, you have to go right along the street. Oh, oh my goodness. If you want one. royal icing molds or bricks, your best message <laughs> now, now before yeah. I leave. And then I can get them and put them on the website oh. tomorrow. Yeah, so that, that was very, it's a very easy, easy cake to do. Okay. Mm. It's gorgeous though. Yeah. I love it. Very simple. Mm. Um, oh, the other, let's show you the bride and groom, the gingerbread yeah. bride. Yeah, and yeah, that is so <laughs> cute. Because they are. Ooh, just watch yeah. it doesn't knock into anything else. Wow, look at so. them. Look at them. How yeah. cute are they? <laughs> <laughs> and they're sugar paste, aren't they? Yes, yes. Look at them. How cute are they? Yeah. And that's using the little gingerbread. Um, cookies uh, molds, yeah that's the heart but what all I, made out of sugar yeah, paste but remember there's a snowflake in the middle so i just when they came out of the mold i just pressed it in with my finger and then just put a cut out heart yeah. on over that okay fantastic so how cute is that everyone mm -hmm. and have you done a close-up of that that jumper one i can't we shall i lift one? it into yeah, the yeah. yeah. If you yeah. want me to put that back there are you okay oh, don't go and damage know, it now yeah. like looking just every, every which way right so have you all had a great live, everybody? So guys, if anybody wants that rustic brick or you want the um, royal, icing. The royal icing ones, if you can just send me a message now 
and um, I'll pick them up tonight and I'll put them on the website. In fact, I'll just pick up five or six That's of each anyhow. Yeah. Yeah, so you wow, see there, there's all the jumpers, because I didn't have time to do all of them, do everything. Yeah. This is the cable knit <laughs> mould, we have this in stock, which yeah. comes with this toggle on, so anybody who wants to know that's the cable knit. This one is the chunky knit, what's Chunky this? rib. Chunky rib, we have that in stock. Yeah. The, the, the um, snowflake she's already showing you this yeah, evening. That's the knit. The one. jumper and the hats, that's on the new mould, and what's it called, that one? Knitted, the knitted knitted clothes get my words out <laughs> so what a fantastic oh. line so guys what else do you want us to show you oh look at these the baby ones look at these baby ones the look at them how yeah. cute are they <laughs> oh we're gonna find the one with the where, where do we have the one with the um Karen, where's what? the donkey? Oh, they're oh, in yes. the nativity. Oh, sure, yeah, we've got the nativity. nativity. We're going to show you the nativity yeah, one. Nativity and we're going to show them the one with the, with the new autumn leaves on. Oh, yes. So if you want, don't tell me on this live feed. I won't see it. Private message me because I'll have a cup of tea with Karen. We'll tidy up and then I'll write down anybody who wants them. So anybody who wants... Well, those swirls, do they all come in one set or are they different ones? Yeah, these... Yeah. are all on the royalised mould, Yeah, but this is the piped shell border. Right, so that's that? Yeah. Right, okay, good. Right. Okay. All right, so if you want them, private message me and I'll sort it out. Yeah, so there we've got the gingerbread boy and girl as Mary and Joseph. Mm. So the clothes are just kept exactly the same and basically just gave them both the headdress. Right, now you see this here, this little donkey, it's the horse on the farm animals. <laughs> and then the sheep. And I've got to be honest, when I came in tonight, mm. I was like, I've not seen them once before, but I've never really looked at the farm animals once. So she's converted the horse to a donkey, then the sheep, and then the little gingerbread man. She's wrapped up. How cute is that? <laughs> Baby Big Jesus. And then you can see the snowflakes man. have come off your yeah. snowflake Star. border mould. Which yeah. one's this one? This is the rustic driftwood. Driftwood. Great. Yeah, the driftwood. That's everything, isn't mm. it? Yeah, and the, the manger is the driftwood yeah. as well. And I, I just kept it. I felt like it needed more as I was doing it. Yeah. But now I'm glad I didn't. I'm so glad. you guys who've got Karen's mould, you know, don't think you can just use it for one thing. Learn to adapt with them. That's the amazing thing, seeing these. And Karen, sorry, i got to ask you. Pass yeah. over that big one with the buttons up. Oh, you'll do this one, yeah? Oh, yeah. This one. Just sorry. do it while I'm over here. I'll just grab this. And look at this. Now, <laughs> Karen was on our live a few weeks ago, and she brought out this autumn leaf one, and she said, like, use it for Christmas trees. Now, look how fabulous that. You couldn't mm -hmm. get an easier cake to do than mm -hmm. that, could you? Yeah, no. That, I'm not being fair, no, but that's spectacular. Very simple. But spectacular very and just so easy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And all that is, that's the autumn leaf. Um, have you got that autumn leaf in here? Over here, just, just show them all again. We'll just find the autumn leaf, but Karen was doing a live with the autumn leaf, and um, this was meant to be what was it meant to be, Karen? This this little Sorry. twiggy bit, you used it a few different things, didn't you? It's just twigs, it's yeah. just a twig. But what a lovely idea to use for white Christmas trees, and like these, these are just little dots of royal icing. So Karen's just running around the warehouse for you now. <laughs> so I hope you've all enjoyed the demo tonight. We've not disappeared on you. We've sent Karen on a miss mission. So for anybody who wants the royal icing, the shell borders and the rustic brick, can you private message me so I can gauge how many to grab tonight and I'll get them on the website in the morning. I'll take this out of the bag, otherwise it's too yeah. shiny to see. See, and that's yeah, the mould the there, look at that. So these leaves are absolutely fabulous. And if you go to watch our live earlier on in the when was you here? Was it when did we release that one? This one. I say um, that when we when did you yeah, release it was, that? I don't know, it was the summer, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, but it wasn't that long ago, was it? It was about six, seven weeks ago. Well Which Karen was there, go back to our Facebook lives and you'll see all the wonderful things that she made with that. Yeah, I'm just looking the work it's a bit broken, but you see you can even make and you're right, Cookies. You could, and you're right, you could use that for the, and she did use it for that as well. Sea, seaweed, mermaid theme cake, yeah, cookies as well, brilliant. Lots of things you can do with that one. So, lots of things, lots of things, and what other ones have we got? Yeah. Um, what about the Christmas cracker here? Oh yeah, oh I showed them that one before. Oh yeah, show me that one. <laughs> just you were dancing fantastic. in front of the camera with yeah. it. <laughs> I love this one. Great idea. It's That's so cute. Christina's idea. idea. Yeah. Christina now this one, any of you who've got the um, 
winter wreath from last year. So this is bits of the winter wreath. Look, I'm recognising it. That's the poncettier there. And you get all these little bits on the winter wreath. Yes, don't you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So Just gonna use your imagination. How brilliant is that? Mm -hmm. So loads of ideas, guys. I mean, you've got to love it. All these ideas, and then we want that big one at this the back. This one. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> oh, let's do this first. One. I've done it. Okay. But you can do it. <laughs> Just love it. Oh, cookie cookie jar. Again. So much detail, isn't there? Like so cute. Half, half eaten cookie. Love it. Yeah. But I'm saying and then cookie you can see jar. The sweet stamp cookie sugar there. Paste. I can't remember yeah. which range that one is that. Oh, I can't remember. So Christine, to be honest. Christina used them. I'll have to have a look. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think cute. that again is the sweet sticks. The sweet stamp sweet sticks. Oh, right. Sweet sticks yeah. range. But again, all these are sugar paste. Absolutely lovely. And then we're going to get out the way for this one. <laughs> and look at this. Wow. What it's a lovely, lovely idea it? is that. Gorgeous. How fabulous Christina is that. Christina Ludlam. Yeah, Christina Ludlam is an absolute star. Mm -hmm. Don't know how she thinks of the mm -hmm. ideas, but they're amazing. Mm -hmm. So I hope you've all enjoyed the live. Yeah, so many fantastic ideas. Oh my god, <laughs> there's so many people. Oh my god. So we've done them all there, Karen. I think so. Do you want me to have a quick recap? Yes. Yeah, got anything then. out? Um, if anyone's interested in purchasing any of Karen's moulds this evening or the sugar paste that's been used, just head over to the Sugar and Crumbs website, which is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. You can either search by a brand. Oh. <laughs> I keep rushing us along. Oh, I didn't even hit a speed button or something for her. You can either... told us to get on with it. Oh my God. <laughs> you can either... just dilly her down for another 10 minutes. <laughs> search by brand or... Head over to the Facebook Live Must Have section where everything's in one place for you, which is really easy to find. And um, if you've missed any of tonight's live or you want to have a recap, just head over to the Facebook page when we're finished. It will be pinned to the top of the page for you. Um, we've also streamed onto YouTube this evening as well. And again, the full tutorial will be pinned on there as well for you to recap on. Maria's brilliant one minute videos will also get uploaded as well by the end of the week. No, it won't. Not this week. No, we've got oh, too much sorry. to do. <laughs> she just nearly had a meltdown. Oh, sorry, Maria. She hasn't even started. I know. I know. Sorry. The <laughs> woman in videos will be on by next week once Maria has recovered. Um, but they will be there for you. Again, all the fantastic, really important bits squished into a great one minute video so you can just go backwards and forwards as many times as you wish. Um, um, basically, we hope you've enjoyed the live. We've covered loads. Loads and loads. Absolutely. And we've finished early. I, I, I had more things. Oh, well, we've got eight minutes. What else do you want to say? <laughs> She's finished us early. <laughs> I thought we were going to think of something. You want to think of something without well, telling them about yeah, okay, the other things Pass me that magazine there. Listen, yeah, Laura said to us that we had to I get a move on. we were really going to run over. Yeah. It was like an hour 20 in. Oh, and I've got things to show you. We've got tons to cover. Just to let you know, we're at Cake and Bake this weekend, so we are behind on videos. The reason we're behind on videos, Maria went on holiday last week. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Never happen again, Maria. But in fairness, <laughs> she, went by, she, went by she went by as I was cooking. They made sure she got home so she could do Aww. Maria's Facebook Live on Thursday. And then she was in on Friday. Today is a chaotic day. It's a long day. We've been in work since half past, half past six, all of us this morning. It's late now. We're working right the way through. We're back in work at half past six tomorrow and every day this week because we have to get sorted for the shows. Maria's got no time to do any videos, but they, we will catch up with them over the next two weeks. But she's got to make posters, design them. She's got to get them to the art, art, artwork because we're running behind on everything. Um... So loads of things. Anyhow, we are at Cake and Bake. Karen is at Cake and Bake. I'll get Karen back to do a little bit more. It's like, a, what do you call it when they go off and they come back again? An encore. An encore. We'll get Karen to do an encore in a minute. Okay. But we're at Cake and Bake this weekend. Karen is at Cake and Bake. We're at Cake and Bake. Amy Sweet Stamps is at Cake and Bake. Our consignment from Australia has arrived in the country. Um, if everything goes well tomorrow, we will have chocolate drip. Colour Mill and Faye Cahill at the show. Having said that, just before I came in here tonight, some technical yeah. things that the Australians have to sort out. So we are fingers crossed, emergency emails have gone across so they can sort out their paperwork so we can get it past customers and we'll have it there. Otherwise, I'm just going to have a stand to myself and they're going to be on sugars. So <laughs> um, I'll be doing 50 nozzle demos all weekend. On Friday morning, 10 a.m., I'm going to 
film the opening up of Cake and Bake. Rosie Cake Diva will be there. She's on the stage all weekend using our sugars, shouting out our name and doing some things for us as well. Um, and I'll be doing a live on Friday at 5 p.m. with Amy Sweet Stamps. Okay, and if you've not got this magazine, you want to buy this magazine, it's Cake Decoration and Sugar Craft Magazine. It's a fabulous magazine, and while we've been on here, I've been having a little flip through it because I haven't seen it. And there's loads of things in here, and our great friend Natalie Porter is in here as well with loads of hints and tips, all sorts of things, loads of Halloween-y things as well. But, um, and, and I was saying to Karen, some of these molds would be great to be adapted for Halloween. Mm. Those little cookies would be fantastic, wouldn't yeah. they? We were saying before, the things. gingerbread yeah. ones do little yeah. fast pies or which, which is, is yeah, things. absolutely. So get so creative. Mm. Um, we're in here, we've got a double spread in here. I don't know where it is. There it is there. Uh, look at that. Double spread in here. You can sign up for this magazine via our website. So just go to shop, drop down to Cake Decoration Magazine. It's a separate link. You can't add it to your basket. So when you click it, follow it through, it's five pound for five magazines, the next five magazines. And then you start your, annual, your monthly subscription. But you can't add it to the basket. Which we've one lady also, she could? Oh, we've also been popping um, a leaflet on all the invoices for our orders that have been going out over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. So if you've had an order from us, use a little blue leaflet, and all the details are on there about the magazine subscription. And just to tell you, there's no more gold boxes. We, I know you've all gone crazy. There must have been the best gold boxes you've ever had. <laughs> yeah. So, but you've all gone crazy for them. But we had a little meeting today. We haven't got time to make any more. And to be fair, you know what? Next time they come out, you'll be even quicker, won't you? So mm -hmm. they were quick. These sold within, I think they sold within 12 hours, didn't they? Was like it? 12, 15 hours. Mm -hmm. So the next time we bring the next batch out, then you'll be quicker off the mark yeah. for them. So but I don't think we'll be bringing any out until after Christmas. Yeah, goody good. Right, Karen, encore. Da, 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 yes. da, da, da. A, quick <laughs> five, a quick five minutes. Go on then. Just show you a few other little things. I'm doing. Just want to do something I've not done yet with like these wedding cookies. Um, you can pipe on them as well. Um, you know, a lot of people might think, oh no, they're fine as they are. I don't want to do anything else. But you can do very very just simple. Hang just hang on a minute. Yeah. Break for Maria. Uh, video <laughs> girls on the way around. <laughs> very very simple things. So I'll do each tier something different on each tier. So right, the top one. Let's just pipe spots dots. It's like what you've done on that cake isn't it behind. Yeah. So when you when you pipe a dot like this you, you squeeze, stop squeezing, don't just pull up you end up with a, like a tail coming up. So you squeeze, stop squeezing and then take it round and off. Mm -hmm. See that's another little jaunt isn't it? Good little rhymes when I'm piping with the nozzles. Oh, now they'll have yeah. to learn your little, little yeah. ones. <laughs> <laughs> So there's that, just, you know, just Fantastic. little dots. You could pipe hearts, which are sort of like this. It's hard to see white on white, isn't it? Yeah, you, I should have made a mistake here, haven't I? Oh, Let's no, do it on I... here. Let's do it on this oh, one. Okay. There we go. Now, you might see them a little bit better here. So this is very, very simple. Very, very simple. I was simple. just looking at that. Pressure how cute is that? Wow. I was thinking, how are you going to paint a Pressure. heart? How cool is that? hold your breath one isn't it? It is. It is a hold your breath one. So I'll just I'll show you on the green board. So you just pipe and then I'm still squeezing but easing off as I go down to the bottom. So squeeze hard and then stop and take it. off. So, okay. Okay. so that's just how you do little hearts. So you can put little hearts on them. So on on that that tier. Now mm -hmm. um, oh, let's do on the blue one. This is a good one to show up. Um, you can pipe little roses. Now this nozzle oh, really oh, is a little bit big. This is a 1.5. Yeah. Really, I'd need a one or a naught for this. So that's like the centre of the rose. <laughs> and then you just pipe a petal, and then another petal. Oops, slipping. Oh, look at that. And then you just sort of build them up <laughs> around the outside. This isn't a very good example, really. That's looking good to me. Yeah. 
I'm impressed. We could do do that all mm. over. You know, I'm just trying to think of different things, and then you can just sort of press your pipe. Maybe that's that. coming off. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't really go because you've got the roses there, but I'm just giving you some ideas. Even if you pipe dots together into a flower, there's another way. Just five little dots. Mm -hmm. oh, I remember doing that. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Leaf each side. I used, I used to be a nail technician. I used to do that for uh, people's nails. Yeah. And... <laughs> but you can have. You know, other things on. Yeah. Like I say, you don't have to just have what I've put there. That's that one. Okay. But that's. Or oh, I could have written a name, couldn't I? Or like we said before, love. Oh, now you're being clever. <laughs> now you're being clever, aren't you? Not really. This uh, is not. Oh, we can't do that. Other name, whatever you want. That's just very, that. <laughs> very plain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so mm. the other thing I didn't show you, which no, um, carry on. We've got people who have just to stay with you. Very, very quickly. I'm not going to no, go mad on these. I'm not going to. I'll show you happy. the five. When you said about the tree before, the little tiny tree and the little tiny snowman is on this mold. Right, okay. it's a village mold. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, with these. It's nice if you even just pipe the outlines on them. It's a good way to practice your piping, actually, because everything's there for you, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. You know, you're not doing it freehand. Yeah. In, you know. Um, Alice did a beautiful one last year, didn't she, uh, for the show? Are you going yeah. to take that to the show again this year? I'm hoping it was all. I, I meant to get it out, but there's so many boxes. The big one, do you mean the yeah. five tier? Yeah, it was on Kate Masters magazine as well, oh, wasn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, the, the front really cover. Big one. Yeah, 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 the front cover of um, yeah, yeah, it was gorgeous that one. Nice colours and everything. Did um, you just make that look so easy, Karen? Well, now you can do other things on them. A lot of these sort of gingerbread houses, they have like. You know, little fancy piping yeah. things on them, whatever. So we'll put a little fancy arch above the door. So, yeah, you can do as little or as much as you want. How cool is that? And then, like before, you could do a heart. Those little piped hearts look nice on these. And then pipe, you know, pipe the other windows in. So it's I'm really... I'm holding my breath for you. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> probably easier to just go do them all, all the across lines, all the horizontal lines, then all the vertical. Okay, and so on. Mm -hmm. but the church is nice as well. The church is really nice. I won't pipe the whole thing, but it gives you... An idea mm, what you well can do done. with them. And again, you can do these in sugar paste yeah. as well. I don't think we brought that cake in. There was another cake outside. Do you want to get it? Um, you yes. can do, yeah. Let's get it. Show and on. the lantern. Did I bring the lantern's this on one? the table. Did I show oh. them this one? Yeah, I need to show them that as well. You've shown that it. one. Okay. All right. Knitted. And then we've okay. shown this one as well. Right. Here oh, we've got a two out. tier, two tier <laughs> cake. Okay. Which has oh, been dressed a like a snowman. Look at all these cakes. We're just going to show you a few more. Loads yeah. and loads of ideas. Okay. So that's a very, that's a nice easy one as well. You know, <laughs> that's just our knitted mould, the chunky rib, the crochet moulds for his scarf, the buttons. Very easy, it's very really effective. Cute. Yeah. Then what else? I'll tell you, Karen, these cakes weigh a ton. They do, <laughs> some of them do. You don't you like think, they're not real cake. Please have a know, lie down. Oh yeah, I'll we'll do this one next. Oh then. god. Yeah. Now this one is just painted. The houses are all just painted on yeah, this. But don't one. they look good painted? Yeah. They're really actually really different like effects, that, don't they? Yeah. yeah. It's a really different yeah. effect, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Well, with, with the sugar so what paste. So put gold paint well, in the windows. Yeah. The, the houses, the buildings are all done in like pale grey, white, pale, all pale colours, and then painted 
as well. But that's perfect for the Winter Village show, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, yeah. And the yeah. trees, you see the trees there, all well, different sizes, and then some royal icing just piped and brushed. Loads of fantastic ideas. Piped and brushed. It almost makes them, them look Victorian. You know, yeah. almost. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> having the lantern. Oh, here's the lantern now. Whoa. That's go. just such That's a gorgeous just idea. Yeah, just the falling over a little bit. You've got to be careful with them. It's just basically sugar paste in the bottom. Yeah. And then you can push the cookies into the soft sugar paste and then cover it with um, grant, um, sugar. So cute. I, I don't think it's even caster sugar, I think. Just ordinary sugar. Oh, there we go. Are we going to eat them? Ah. <laughs> He's ready. Shall we He's taste ready. I'm going to taste one, see what's oh. like. Santa's stood on the top, and then Rudolph and the snowmen on the bottom. They're painted, those snowmen mm. painted. Okay. Absolutely oh, sorry. fantastic. Are we done? Mouthful. Yes. Gorgeous. I think so. I think I've shown them all so, the cakes. So, guys, get those thumbs up, love hearts up, go over to Karen's page, give her a great big like, do all your shopping on our page, though. <laughs> <laughs> you see her at the show if you're at the show. <laughs> but massive big thank you to Karen. She's worked really hard tonight. We're all going to clean up here now tonight, help her put everything back together, sit down, have a quick cup of tea, and then we're up the motorway again. But these are delicious. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. yes. Sorry I asked his head, but I just had to. <laughs> Sorry. Go, go, go. So don't forget, Friday morning at Cake and Bake, I'm going to do a live tour around the show. Friday night, 5 o'clock, with um, Amy Sweet Stamps. We're going to go past Karen's stand in the morning. She'll be there, ready with us, ready for you. Um, <laughs> and then what else are we doing? We're back on Monday after the show, but we don't know what we're doing yet. No. Don't know yet. We're doing summer. <laughs> All right, right then. We'll be there. We're going to let you go. See you Friday morning. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Karen.